What's up, my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley. Welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. These are general messages only for the star sign of Pisces, because I looked. This is for the star sign of Pisces for April 2020. Take what resonates. Leave it how it does not. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, where your messages will 100% correlate to your story, because they're specifically for you in mind. You can find all the information on how to reach me in the description box down below. Without any further ado, let's get right on to it. Two cards from the Norman and three cards from the Tarot. You got the Two of Swords, the Lovers, the Ace of Cups, the Woman, and the Star. So the Two of Swords in the Tarot represents a situation in which there is a stalemate choice. It would be a card in which you don't 100% know which choice to make, but there needs to be some sort of stalemate broken in this situation. You need to come to a conclusion about this. The Lovers, again, um, pairing up with the Two of Swords would make sense. There is some sort of large choice to be had. Most Often it is in the area of love, but it can be any type of situation. However, I got it coming up with the Ace of Cups representing a second chance, um, renewal, apologies. So I definitely feel like there is uh, this is a relationship spread. Most definitely interpersonal or you know romantic, this is going to be a personal uh, relationship spread. I feel like right now you are in the, the, not the discovery phase, you are in the process of trying to decide who you want in your life, if you want to give this person a second chance, because this does represent renewal, healing, having a new beginning here. If you want to take on this offer, if you do want to have um, have this second shot of love, it's a wellspring of emotion, it's a really pure, good card to get. If anything here, I do see that this is a legit apology. If it comes in, this person really does want a second shot with you. But I feel like you are, at the moment, a hundred, not a hundred percent on where you would like this to go with this person. I think that this person might have caused you a lot of pain because it's something that you don't, you don't really know where to go with this. Um, but it's definitely given you a lot to think about. I, I feel like for a lot of you, it is going to be a situation that might have hurt you in the past, but it could also just be choosing a soulmate or soulmate. It could, it could just be choosing a partner after a time of really not wanting to do so. Either way, I do think that it's very possible that you heal from this and that you have the second shot because we have somebody looking to the f we have somebody looking into the future. When I get the woman, it's kind of she has fertility around her, which means abundance, and she is looking into a time where there is a lot of travel. There is a lot of really unknowns in this factor. I think that this is something that if you get into it, you don't really have to know where you're going, but you do know it is going to be better than where you were. There's a lot of healing, so it's somebody that is looking into this. And when I get this for the, the, the cards, I kind of feel like you are... Um, making a choice about if you want to take that journey over the water, if you want to see what is healing beyond beyond these waters, I think that you are right now in the process of making a decision of if you want to do this or not. So let's, let's this is a very cut and paste spread. Let's see where you end up. Do you decide to heal this? Do you decide to take on this new wellspring of emotion? Ah, uh, <laughs> it's going to be, if you do, it's going to be something that you are blocking yourself to. If you, I, I honestly think that you are going to have a hard time. Um, I think that this might be a struggle for you. I think that this is not necessarily a no. It does mean that you are blocking something, that you are being guarded to something, that energy isn't really moving. So I see this more as a, you are wondering where this can go and maybe not 100% certain right now as to where you want things to go i do for the most part see that you kind of remain in this i don't really see i see i see you looking to the future of what could be but for the most part for april i do kind of still see you st i don't say stuck in this mindset but you are being very careful with the way that you hand out emotional prosperity or financial prosperity um obviously we're all going through this kind of card right now with the way that the fucking world is. Holy shit. So I, I'm not surprised to see this here. I do. It could very well be that there's some sort of decision that you have to make about um, something that makes you happy. And it doesn't have to necessarily be a relationship. However, at the end of the day, you do remain guarded. You are very careful with your resources and energy. This is not necessarily a bad thing, you know. If this person has hurt you, there's an, don't let me fucking tell you to take up this offer if it's not going to be well for you. 
But I do see you still speculating. You're going to be on guard. Not Still not 100% on where you want to go with this. But I feel like that's something that I've already asked. And I'm not getting a full answer. So it's something I can't continue to push. Um, that is your general advice. Look for all the answers before you make a choice about something. Um, did I already say who this was? Pisces? No, this is not Pisces. Is it Pisces? Yeah, it's Pisces. All right, Pisces. Be sure to have all of your decks in a row before you make this choice. Other than that, I don't really see anything concerning here. This is just the knocks of life. Um, and I do see that you need to take healing from this before you can make any large decision either way. So take that with a grain of salt. If it resonates, take it. If it doesn't, you don't have to take it. All right, guys. Peace out. I'll see you next time. Bye.